Good morning, it's cooler today here in Zurich. Heading to a walking tour at 11 o'clock. For that, I'm gonna do a little bit of investigating this funicular, which is up here. Trying to find out where it goes and what time it runs. Funicular runs until two o'clock on a Saturday. So I'm gonna do the walking tour and then head back there after that. Hopefully I'll get up and down in the space of about an hour. Until then, I'm gonna go and have a look at Lake Zurich. Made it down to Lake Zurich, 25 miles in length, at its maximum two miles wide. It's quite a large body of water. Gets to as much as 140 meters or 450 feet deep at its most uh, deep section. Way up there on the hill, you can see where I was yesterday. Freestanding tower, I'll see if I can zoom in with the other camera. And there we go, freestanding tower on the left, the TV tower on the right, all the way up on top of the mountain. for the free walking tour. So it turns out Zurich is Switzerland's largest city by population. 400,000 people live here, 8 million in Switzerland as a total. The city is larger than the capital, which is not Geneva, as most people think. It's actually Bern, which is where you'll find all of the government offices. Continue. There is a very small task for your ball. Can you pass through this arch? So this is the courtyard of Frommunster Church. So in this little square, we have St Peter's Church overlooking us. And that clock is the largest clock on a tower in Europe. Even though the tower isn't all that big, the clock is actually larger than Big Ben in London. There's also little windows on each side of the top of the tower. They used to be used for observing fires in medieval times. They say that that's why Zurich still stands as it did hundreds of years ago because all the fires were spotted from that tower and extinguished. So this is the oldest street in Zurich. On the corner here you can see a flag of white and blue. That's the flag of the canton of Zurich. So Zurich is not just a city but it's a canton as well which is a bit like a county in the UK or a state in the US. In the middle here you can see an old 13th century well. This is how they used to get water. Now 
now climbing up to get the best views of Zurich in the centre of Zurich. Well, quite a climb. Nowhere near as uh, steep as yesterday was though. Now going to take a look over the city. over the river now and we're on the same side as I started on the first thing this morning. This is where the hotel is. houses down here have names because in medieval times there were no numbers all the houses in Zurich just had names to them but of course it got very difficult to try and remember what house was where so that's when the numbers came in this is also part of the oldest district in Zurich of course Switzerland were neutral in World War II so None of it was destroyed like in other European cities. There are hundreds of water fountains in Zurich and all of them contain water that can be drunk. So quite often you see people drinking from them. So the walking tour has just finished here at Grossminster Cathedral. Here it is. I'm now gonna head back to the vernicular, see if I can get to the university, which apparently is what's at the top. And this is the Zurich University of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. I believe that Albert Einstein once attended this university. And we're right, heading back down now towards the river. It's pretty interesting up here, some good views. I'm now gonna head off to another area of Zurich to get a, another free walking tour. Set for the second walking tour of the day, Zurich West. So Zurich West is more of a trendy, non-touristy area. This is where you'll find the locals, apparently. And this is in a disused railway station, from what the lady said. It's now an entertainment center. People rent stalls and stands and shops and it's got kind of like a carnival atmosphere. So this is the local park, and you can see just round on the left-hand side here, there's two viaducts. The upper one is still in use, the lower one is closed down because the train station closed, and all of the archways have been transformed into shops, restaurants and bars. We're heading into Zurich's only indoor covered market hall. So 
these are brick monuments dedicated to this area's former industrial might. This was the heart of the industrial complex in Zurich. They are actually all screwdrivers. Different types of screwdrivers, that's what they're supposed to be. This is a disused factory, or it was. They converted it into a shopping center. There are residential flats above it, but this section, which still looks just like the factory, is now a shopping center with shops such as Oakley, restaurants as well, bars. Again, quite a trendy place, but in the style that's been maintained from its original days as a factory. Heading to our last stop. Factory behind us. So once again, this is an abandoned factory that's now used as a theatre. Tour has just ended. Hopefully gonna head to another local square and get on another one, believe it or not. Now, if I make it on time, the next tour I'm gonna be doing is one of a road called Long Gassy Avenue, I think it is. So the tour's just started in Helvetic Plax. This is apparently a Kurdish demonstration raising the profile of the idea of a Kurdish state. In fact, behind me is the original courthouse of Zurich, now a restaurant and bar. And we've arrived on Longstrasse Avenue. So Longstrasse means long street. During the day, it's a very elegant, trendy area full of pubs and clubs when darkness falls it becomes zurich's red light district is, so it means that there is somebody paying for it yeah paying for it so that is they don't have like one big huge part of like central park or whatever but zurich is very small so they have a lot of little parts and places like this this tour has just finished it was very good uh, it's an area that I wouldn't have come unless I had have done the tour, so I'm glad I did. I'm heading back into the centre, which I think is that way. It's dusk, it's about 8.30 at night. My last day in, my only day I should say in Zurich is nearly at a close, but Got a few hours, I think. When it gets dark, I'm gonna take a wander around the city and take some photographs, I think. Let's see what I can find.